So we are back from our little vacation and I am back out mowing this morning. It's gonna be a little warm today. I think 83, but after this, we weren't supposed to have rain, but I guess that tropical storm that you guys are getting down by Texas um, is gonna push up into our area. And they're saying one to two inches of rain now. Oh boy, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And I think we have seven aeration and seeds for Friday. So hopefully it's not a washout. Um, and I think we're aerating one tomorrow, not seeding it or anything. I think we're just aerating it and mowing it. Um, if I get my aerator back today, I lent to a, lent it to a friend last year and he's been using it. It's, I think he's had it for a good five, six months now. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't needed it, so I let him use it. But hopefully he can meet me over there and get it back to me tomorrow or um, tonight. I got to text him and let him know. So let's get out and mow this one. I'll show you a lot of the buttonwood and weeds are dying. Um, we will, I think, be aerating and seeding this one again. So hopefully, hopefully we are. Hopefully everybody goes back. Their prices are going up like... If you had a $350 aeration seed last year, you're paying uh, aeration seed, fertilizer, and spray. If you, our minimum, I think, was one, two, 250, 300. Now our minimum's closer to 420, um, only because um, seed went up dramatically. So we got to raise prices on our clients. So hopefully you guys are doing that. Hopefully you didn't give quotes last year for aeration at the end of the season, because if you did, um, you're going to be in for a shock. But you should be able to throw that cost onto the client. I mean, they shouldn't expect you to hold to that quote if seed went up that bad. So just remember that, guys. So we're going to get out and mow this one first this morning to start the day. So here's the first one. See all the buttonwood that I sprayed that's dying out? Nice. It'll all be gone. And then hopefully some of this fescue will fill in. But let's see, is it getting most of the weeds in here? Yeah. It's killing all the um, spur, or what is it, um, nuts edge that was in here. Anything that's not grass, it should kill for the most part. So, okay, let's go to mow this one and see what it looks like. There you go, first one done. 
Not too bad, that took me 29 minutes to blow it, edge it, mow it, edge it, blow it and everything. This property is approximately 5,500 square feet. And um, if you guys wanna know, I think to do this one for aeration seed and fertilizer and to spray it with tenacity, um, it's about 420, I think. So that's about 5,500 square feet. So in case you guys want to know for reference, like for pricing for aeration, seed and fertilizer. Now, just to seed it, I think it's just to aerate it's 100. To seed it, it's like 165 or 85, don't quote me. But seed is so much for that um, because seed's 160 something a bag now. So I know I've been telling you guys, but we want to make sure you guys know before you start giving people seed quotes. The crows are out. So here's the next two, this one and the neighbor. I need to see, are all the weeds in here dying? Yeah. I sprayed this lawn. And it looks pretty good. He stopped watering. I told him to, cause it was just too wet. Okay, everything's looking good. I'm gonna get out and mow this. I might use the beast on the whole thing.
Okay, guys, I need to... Where the hell did this thing go? Guys, it went in my mower. Oh, I hope it didn't go up in there. Let me... somewhere where can I put you you're not gonna bite me but I need a stick to get you away did I hurt you I hope not we're gonna go down to the woods here guys because this is a black snake and we don't want to kill black snakes. Black snakes are safe and not harmful. Almost ran you over, buddy. Almost ran you over. Hopefully I didn't. So we're gonna put you all the way down here in nature. I didn't hurt you, did I? I hope not. You don't look like you're injured. There you go. Okay, let's go down here. Come on. Save a snake. Snave, save a snake, guys. There's... So there's no reason to kill the snakes, guys. It's a black snake, rat snake. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. I'm glad I didn't kill it. Okay. That was enough fun for the day. Let's get back to mowing. Oh boy, so we're done that one. And that one, you guys seen the black snake. I won't kill snakes. I'll try to relocate them. I mean, unless it's like a cobra or a rattlesnake in the middle of a development. That's a different story, but definitely not a black snake. Not bad, number four done. Off to the next. Look who's here, guys. Hello, how are you today? Good, but I'm eating something, so I'm kind of... Did you steal a cracker? Mm -hmm. Oh, something else? Mm -hmm. uh -oh. So I brought the boss here to do this one, guys. Yeah. She said she wanted to come out to work with me. Yeah. <laughs> I, I miss working when I don't work. Really? Yeah. Okay, all that's done. Rachel's finishing up over here. I'm gonna finish weed eating everything. Um, and then we'll be off to the next one. But it wasn't even that long. So we are at our next one. Yes, um, we are. Yeah. This is two. No, it's not. Coral only counts it as it's, one. Oh, this is two lawns. Oh yeah, I'll count. You were saying it's two for you. Oh, yeah. This would be number seven for me if we're counting two lawns. No, no, this is 
two lawns. I yeah, I guess saying. I should be in the schedule. It's one, but it is two lawns, guys. Mm -hmm. It's two, five, six thousand square foot yards, mm -hmm. and you know we have to go back and do one, and then go do the other one. So yeah, I guess I'll count it as two. Mm -hmm. hey, so, you're all bundled up. You cold? No, I'm not cold. It's actually very hot, and I don't think that this SPF shirt is working today. I think they probably work when it's really hot out. Probably. It is super hot out. And it's only 81. It feels humid. Oh, that's okay. what it feels. It's 86. We're supposed to get rain, though, from a tropical system. <sighs> Crazy, right? Two inches. And you know what's going to happen? What? Is... Rachel's working in the rain? No. The, the army worms are going to hatch during the rainstorm. And we're not going to be able to spray. Oh, guys, speaking of army worms, you want to see something pretty ironic? Yeah, it is pretty, pretty ironic. Pretty ironic. I mean, it's pretty we're in ironic. lawn care. We spray and everything. And we have army worm eggs on my truck. Mm -hmm. Do you guys want to <laughs> see them? It's pretty funny. So. Well, focus. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. So you see what those are? Yeah. We thought it was sand at first. And then I zoomed in and took a picture. Uh huh. And as you can see, all those little eggs. All these little eggs here. And we even brushed some away. So look at that. That's exactly. I was spraying, and they said, "You want to kill my? I know my comrades. I'm gonna come and get you and lay eggs all over your truck." I think that's what the moth said. The Probably. moth did see you and was like, "I'm gonna get you." So heard something quack, and the ducks must just live in the neighborhood, right? Yeah, they're cute. The neighborhood ducks. They all look. There's one white one, right? Yeah, funny. That's funny. They They're were. Like, stop talking, stop they used talking. to be all the way down here, and they I caught them one day coming out of the road up mm -hmm. here. But let's get this one done. This is the next two.
here with us. Frank's gonna stop back here. Just chilling out over here. Let me finish weed eating. I mean, it looks like they're yellowing somewhat. We'll have to watch it again. Yeah, yeah they definitely are. See this one? Uh-huh. So. But then I think the tenacity will probably take out the rest. I don't know if tenacity does violets, though. Oh, yeah. Look at the clover already. Nice, right? Yeah. Nice. See it all dying, guys? Mm-hmm. We'll come back and aerate and see it deep. There you go. We're just about this done this one. Look at this trash up there. My wheels, they shouldn't be here. They completely busted. Like not broke to where you can technically fix them. Completely broke, look. This piece here busted out. So now I'm out of LP. I don't have $300 for another one. Ridiculous, man. It's always something. Sometimes I gotta check and make sure I'm recording and it's not recording in slow motion. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> He just started saying something and I was like, it's not recording. So we're done. We did eight, not the 10 that was on the schedule, but it's fine. Um, we'll be mowing tomorrow some. I have to spray and we are gonna start an aeration tomorrow, guys. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Not a seed. We're not seeding or anything. We're just aerating. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's all. Yeah. They They're, handle everything else. Yeah, they like to use that malorganite stuff yeah. i don't like malorganite the lawns i see that have it don't look the best at all worse than ours right when we use synthetic that lawn looks so good in the beginning of the season you have to admit it yeah it did look really good we put the first round of pre-emergent and fertilizer down and because they couldn't get to it and after that it went i think the problem with malorganite is if you put the recommended rate down you're putting a lot of nitrogen down um when it's hot and it's um fungus season so i think that's what happens yeah so i think if you're going to use malorganite in the summer you need to bombard your yard with for a uh, fungicide before you do that mm -hmm. in my opinion because fertilizer spreads uh disease so or uh, nitrogen Mor yeah nitrogen spreads so the malorganite so. has a lot of nitrogen if you put the recommended amount down and i'm mm -hmm. pretty sure they put a lot down <laughs> yeah but they got attacked by army worms too, but we're gonna re aerate it again. And I'd say you're gonna tell them the program next year, but I think that might be one we're getting rid of next year. Yeah. So. Well, I'm just gonna tell them, I'm just gonna give them ideas of when they, they treat anyway. Yeah. They treat themselves. The only thing that we did was mow and airy. And it's the only um, one on that street. And it's yeah. way and up And it's in just Asheville, far. So. It's just far in Asheville. So. Uh, we haven't told them yet, but hopefully they... They don't watch our videos, so... Yeah. But it's nothing against the client. It's just no. that we are knocking off some more clients. Only certain ones, so... Yeah. Um, no, one, it, it really is just a couple, to be honest with you, that are just really far out of our way. Mm -hmm. um, and we just have to do it in order to... For our sanity, you know? Yeah. Like, it's just too much. We've been doing it, like... The traffic to go up north is unbearable. And when we're going into, you know, having to go up there two days, it just isn't worth it. And we're still going to go up there a day and still keep most of them. Mm. It's just that one's a bigger one. And we got to unload the trailer at one spot and then pack it back up and leave. Versus yeah. the other ones are kind of really close. and Yeah, like super close. Like we have ones in the city that are really close. And mm -hmm. then... Um, you guys know that one development we have like six or something in it. So, yeah, but I mean, we just have to do what's best for our family. And mm -hmm. um, for the most part, our clients understand and we really appreciate them. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, we've never ran into a major issue. Uh, we did have somebody just 
threaten that to give us a negative review if we didn't call them back by noon yeah. even though on our e on our voicemail it says we are not accepting any more clients for 2021 mm -hmm. they called and said if you don't call us back by noon we're gonna give you a negative review well it is what it is i what mean can you say? listen we're very appreciative that our name is so branded that people are still calling us but there is also a reason that I have on our answering machine that we are unable to take on any more work because before we are Rachel, unable yes, to take before, on any more work. Before <laughs> Rachel put that on our machine a couple months back, we were getting five to six calls a day yeah. for mowing, landscaping. And, and then at that point, I felt bad not calling people back because... Um, they just were hanging in limbo, basically. Mm -hmm. You know, now at least if they listen to my message, which obviously they don't always, um, but if they listen, then they understand. And, you know, we haven't had as many calls. And we now, can't. Now we have had a few calls that said, I'm willing to wait until next year. Yeah. Um. So we'll see. You know, I will call them back when we have a, another minute and... We just are very thankful for our clients now. And they're and putting they on more and more projects. Busy. Like mm -hmm. we have a, a couple clients that want whole landscaping projects yeah. for a new house. Another one for a new house cottage that we need to do holding. So we want to devote all our time for our clients that we have now. Mm -hmm. And we can't justify adding more people onto our account if we can't even keep up what we have now. Yeah. And I um, mean, we're booking now for landscaping um, into December, November. Yeah, yeah. November, December. December, I mean, so. I, yeah, it's it's definitely going to run into December, I think, um, mm -hmm. for sure. And maybe even further. If and people would say, hire weather. somebody, make all that money. Nah, we're we're happy. Yeah, we're, we're happy where we're at. And we don't want to deal with employees, especially with all this stuff going on. Yeah. So. I mean, we just need to be able to survive mm -hmm. and, you know, be able to raise our family. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're doing. So. so guys, we thank all of you for watching. For sure. We appreciate all the likes, comments, I subscribes. really do think that we're like so close to 10,000 if we're not even, if we're, we might already be there. So um, thank you again. So mm -hmm. yeah, be happy. Or at least try guys. Have a good Have night. A good night.